Let's go to Doogie Beattie, who, of course, is GB News' Northern Ireland reporter. But this is not a Northern Ireland story. It's a UK-wide story. Actually, no, it isn't. This is a Commonwealth wide story. It is about the lighting of beacons. Doogie, tell us what's happening there and around the rest of the world. Well, at about 9.45, Oh, the beacons right around the world will be lit uh, in celebration of Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. Like yourself, I am old enough to remember the 1977 Jubilee. I remember the red helicopters coming into Thethel Barracks and Her Majesty getting into an open-top Landover, which was some feet in Northern Ireland in 1977. It shows you the mark of the woman and, 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 and what Northern Ireland meant to her. Marching bands are just coming up past me now. Um, to my left. I'm in Killyleigh, outside Killyleigh Castle. This is the only residence in Ireland that has the uh, royal coat of arms over it. It is uh, connected to the Bulls Lions and it's of course where the Queen's uh, official uh, person in Northern Ireland lives and it is a vastly loyal area in here and today I have to say most of Northern Ireland where I have been as I've been driving down here through the villages um, it has been such a bank holiday, lovely feeling. And, and no matter what village we drift through, should have been nationalists, unionists, everybody had that really nice uh, feeling of a holiday and celebration. So, as you can see, well, you'll just be about to see very shortly, a flute band going past me here, and they're just bringing in everybody to start the... Um, procedures to start with the beacon. So we're going to have a couple of bands here, a pipe band, uh, a choir, and then the beacon will be lit. But a fantastic day for Northern Ireland. We had a week of it, actually. Uh, last week, we had the centenary of Northern Ireland, and now this weekend, the Jubilee. Uh, it'll just be fantastic and very sobering when Monday comes, I think.